As I mentioned about the transport, the goods do come from different locations throughout the world. Now, when the goods come in from the Far East, they'll be coming by sea, and when they're coming in from Europe, they'll be coming in by road transport. The cost of this, in terms of financial cost, is actually very, very similar, even though the distances are far greater. Um, and as a result, uh, with a container ship, you're obviously transporting a much, much greater volume of goods with a minimal environmental impact. So overall, sea transport does work out a lot more environmentally friendly than road transport. Um, this is counteracted though by the distances that we're traveling from Europe as opposed to the Far East. The one thing that really does come into play with the transportation is the amount of bags that you can fit into one lorry or one 40-foot container. For the plastic bags, based on the volumetric size, and the weight, you can fit 4.4 million bags in one 40-foot container. For the paper, however, you're looking at about 210,000 bags. So there's a difference of over 20 times there in the amount of volume of bags that you can hold in one lorry or container. As a result, it's far more efficient to transport the plastic bags than it is the paper based on the weight and the bulk. So again, we're gonna give paper a score of only six out of 10 and plastic will give a score of 8 out of 10, taking into account the fact that the goods are manufactured on the other side of the earth. The last two sections that we want to look at are the reusability and the recyclability of these bags. They are quite subjective because it all depends on the people actually using the bags. But to start with the reusability initially, and taking paper for example, it's not as reusable as plastic, as it's not as durable a material. If the bags get wet or they get torn, then that bag is no longer going to be of any use. However, paper bags are ideal for things like composting and using in gardening and other waste that's biodegradable. So as long as you reuse these bags for those sources and you take care of them, then they're quite reusable. Plastic, on the other hand, is a much more durable material. They can cope with getting wet, the bags, and also being stretched. Nowadays, a lot of these bags come with degradable and biodegradable additives. So sometimes you'll find that after four or five months, the plastic bags will start turning into mulch, which means they won't be reusable. However, we'd recommend that you use them for waste or other stuff within that four or five months, which is normally what happens. So we're gonna give both of them a score of seven out of 10. And now we move on to the recyclability of the two products. Paper is by far and away much more recyclable than plastic. It doesn't require any extra additives and you can generally put it out with your household recycling, newspapers, etc. and it would become recycled. It's also biodegradable so if it was left in landfill, uh, which we obviously don't want to happen, but if it was left in landfill then it would degrade within a period of time. Plastic on the other hand is reliant on additives that are becoming more readily available to become truly degradable or biodegradable. Um, a lot of the major supermarkets now are encouraging people to take their old carrier bags back and we actively do say that you should be doing that. But overall in this situation paper is by far and away a 9 out of 10 and plastic is a 6 out of 10. To total up the scores however we have for paper 43 and to total up the plastic we have <laughs> we also have a score of 43. And this was not a fix in advance, so I'm quite shocked that they both come out very similar. I think what it goes to show is that both of the types of bags have their advantages and disadvantages. The root material for paper and the afterlife of paper are far better for the environment, whereas the manufacturing process and the transportation for plastic is far better for the environment. At Carrier Bag Shop, we do want to help people be as green as possible and get the most out of their packaging. So if you do have any questions, any queries, and you'd like to know how to improve or become more environmentally friendly with the bags that you use, please do give us a call or drop us an email on team at carrierbagshop.co.uk and we'll be more than happy to talk to you. Thank <laughs> you.